Okay, hello class. Test, test, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ooh, finally. I hope that this internet is going well. So, have you guys answered the first question? Hi, Nuri Huda, finally. Thanks for your thought. Not then just say top up, thank you. My friends. My friends for your Wi Fi. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's proceed for number one. Okay. Read the text carefully. In each question, choose the best answer. It can be A, B, or C. So, dear Zilla, so the name is Zilla, not Godzilla. Godzilla versus Kong. That is not the case. The name is Dear Zilla. I am sorry, but I am unable to go shopping with you this Saturday. My sister needs my help in choosing her wedding gown. So her sister is going to marry someone. Lah. Her wedding is next month. Dani wrote the message to... What is the answer, guys? Come on. Oh, Nur Fatin. Thank you, Nur Fatin. Anyone else? Come on, don't be shy. You can just give me any answer. Okay, thank you, Danish. Maybe V. Irfan Hanis, thank you. Also V. Yes. So, Danny wrote the message to invite Zila to go shopping with her. No. Unable to go shopping. So, A is not the answer, obviously. How about B? Explain why she is unable to go shopping with Zila. Because... My sister needs my help in choosing her wedding gown. So this is the case. So B might be the answer. So let's take a look at three. Remind Zila to help her sister choose her wedding gown. No. So yes, guys, B, correct. Thank you. Okay, let's see. How about number two? Sam Music School. We are offering singing classes at a special discount. Sign up for classes before 15 June and get a free lyrics book. 20% off, opening hours, 10 a.m. right to 9 p.m. Every day, we are at 15 Jalan Gembira, Selangor. Sam Music School is, is it opening in 15 June? B, wow. Sounded so convincing. Uh, open seven days in a week. Offering a free lyrics books to all students. Hmm. Okay, A, opening on 15 June. So, no, before. Before an opening per day. Okay. Uh, it is not stated whether the opening is on which day, on which date. Maksudnya dah buka lama dah ni, dia tak bagi tahu pun. Dia hanya nak kemasukan, the intake for the students. So, A is not the answer, obviously. Okay, B, open seven days a week over here, every day, every day. So, in a week, they have many days, right? How many days in a week? How many days in a week? Seven, thank you, Danish. So, it opens every day, might be the answer. So, let's take a look at C, offering free lyrics book to all students. No, you must sign up first. And then get a free lyrics book before 15 June. So let's say you sign up for the classes after 15 June, you can't get the lyric books. So the answer is B again, correct. Oh, you're, you guys are off for a great start, you know. Okay, let's see for number three. Special offer, buy one birthday cake and get an apple pie for free. Available on weekdays from 5 to 9 p.m. only. If you buy... If you buy the cake, you will get the cake lah. Okay, what is the answer? Okay, thank you, Erin Delia. Okay, how about the others? Okay, thank you, Nur Fatin. A birthday cake at 5 p.m., you get a free apple pie. Apple pie, pineapple pie. Hmm, apple pie, fever. Okay, Danish, see? Okay, thank you, Danish. A birthday cake from 5 to 9 p.m., you get another birthday cake for free. Joko and Yoko, thank you. C.
from 5 to 5 p.m. You get apple pie. Okay. Okay, thank you, Irfan Hanis. So let's take a look carefully over here. So if you buy a birthday cake at 5 p.m., you get a free apple pie. So over here, get an apple pie for free. So A can be the answer. So let's take a look at C. A birthday cake from 5 to 9 p.m., it is correct. You get another birthday cake for free. So do you guys really get a free birthday cake? Or you guys get an apple pie for free? Uh, so this is apple. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Danish. Thank you, Zakwan. So you won't get another birthday cake for free. So C is incorrect. I'm sorry. The right answer is A. B, an apple pie, you get a birthday cake for free. Why? No. Uh, A is the answer. Okay, thank you. All got correct. So read the question carefully. Sometimes you guys understand fully the paragraph, the passage, the information given. I know quite well that you guys understand every single thing. But sometimes our silly mistakes is what brings our downfall. So after this, read the question carefully and doubt the question. Kita betul ke jawapan saya ni? Baca balik. Yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at number four. So this is an email. To saiful at tmail.com from sita at tmail.com. Subject, drama rehearsals. Hi, Saiful. I would like to inform you that I just received a text from our drama teacher, Puan Nina. She says that the Thursday's rehearsal is not cancelled and will still be on 4 p.m. However, the rehearsals will be at class 3B instead of the school hall. See you, Sita. See you, Sita. What a rhyme. Well, the drama rehearsal on Thursday is cancelled. Is it true it is cancelled? Hmm, kalau cancel, kenapa nak jumpa dekat school class B kan? Instead of school hall. So, A is incorrect. B, at a different time. Hmm, I would like to inform you that Thursday is not cancelled. And still be, still be on at 4 p.m. Meaning that still, masih lagi, with the same time. Okay, so the answer is C, at a different place. Because why? The first place for the rehearsals is located at the first place for the rehearsal. Okay, let's see who got the first answer. Hmm. Anyone? The first place for the rehearsal. What is it? What is the answer? Is it in the toilet? Is it in your grandma's house? Ah, uh ah, -uh. class three B. I uh, know, like Erin Delia. Yes, thank you, Nur Fatin. School hall, the first place, supposedly, supposedly at school hall. But we got to change. The drama teacher tu memang bawa drama betul lah. Kak tak buat kat school hall. Kita buat kat class three B. So thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, let's take a look at number five. Tony might be Tony Stark. Hi, Linda. Hi. Could you please tell that that he does not need to pick me up from drum lesson today? I will be going to Ashok's after the lesson and his father will send me back later. Thanks. So Ashok tu might be someone's name lah. So Tony is texting Linda to A, Arthur, go to Ashok's house, Ashok's house. B, remind her that he will be going for drum lesson. And C, tell their father not to fetch him after drum lesson. Number five. Okay, thank you, Nur Fatin. How about you guys? How about Hasha, Ryan Takif, Julia Arena? Thank you. Erin Delia, thank you. How about boys? Danish, Ryan Takif, Nur Atira, thank you. C, tell their father not to fetch him after drum lesson. Boys, at least two boys, you must participate in this question. Uh, Ryan Takif, usually you are the one that always 
give me answer. Uh, Darren Woon, uh, don't keep quiet. Atilia Chow. Hasha, thank you. Danish, thank you. Okay. So, yes, the answer is C. Tell their father not to fetch him after drum lesson. Because why? Because I will be going to Ashok's after the lesson. Uh, dia nak directly pergi. Thank you, Zafkan Yoko. Dia nak pergi directly to Ashok's after the lesson. And his father will send me back later. Ayah, Ashok's father will send Tony later on. Yes, so that is the answer. The answer is C. Okay, let's take a look at Kuala Lumpur Bird Park. KL Bird Park is home to more than 3,000 birds. The park is open daily from 9 to 6 p.m. The park now has a birthday package. Now, that's interesting. There should be a minimum booking of 35 packs adults plus child for each party. The price for adults is 59 ringgit and for children aged 3 to 12 is RM49 ringgit. So KL Bird Park is A. Opening soon. B. Charging adults only. C. Offering birthday package. Six. This question is so easy, you know. Uh, so easy. Okay, Nur Fatin, thank you. Okay, anyone else? Erin Delia, Julia Erina. What a fancy name you guys have. Erin Delia, Julia Erina, Nur Fatin, Danish. Danish B, why Danish? Your answer is B. Charging adults only. Uh, if it's only charging for adults, what's the purpose of children aged 3 to 12 is 49 ringgit? Uh, typo. Oh, sorry, 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 Danish. I, I sense that someone's answer is A just now. Who is it? Atilia Chong. Okay, Atilia Chong. Why your answer is A? Opening soon. This is the same case. Oh my god, Atilia Chong. A. <laughs> so, yes, the answer is C. Offering a birthday package. Okay, so where's my. Okay, C. No, 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 no. What happened here? Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. But never, nevertheless, you guys got correct, 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 correct. And then you got CCN pun correct. Okay. So congratulations. You got six over six, you guys. And then let's take a look at number seven. Power Taekwondo School. We are now open for registration for the upcoming school holidays. Beginners to experts are welcome. We want to, we want to give personal attention to each student. So we will only have 10 students per class. Hurry. Not bad. First week, 24 to 30 November. Second week, 1 to 7 December. Email to info at power. PowerTaekwondoSchool.com. So, Power Taekwondo School is A, encouraging people to register early to get a place. Hmm, menggalakkan manusia untuk daftar awal untuk mendapat tempat dalam Power Taekwondo School. So, B, telling people that all the Taekwondo experts are allowed to sign up. What? Okay, doesn't make sense, but I read it regardless. C, reminding people that the Taekwondo program is only for a week. <laughs> okay, thank you, Nur Fatin. Thank you, Julia Arena. So, you guys, what are the answer? Okay, thank you, Erin Delia. Uh, Power Taekwondo School. Open registration for the coming school holidays, beginners to expert. So, and then limited to only 10 students per class yes atira yes thank you atilia the answer is a encouraging people to register early to get a place so if your guys answer is b telling people that all the taekwondo experts are allowed to sign up 
Mm, no. Beginners to expert are welcome. It's stated here. And I see, reminding people that the Taekwondo program is only for a week. No, look at here. First week, second week. So there's two weeks already. So C is not the answer. So it's obvious the answer for number seven is A. So let's take a look at number eight. Also email, so read it carefully, to dina at mail.com from Mrs. Lee at mail.com, subject science project deadline. Dear Dina, Dina, this email is to inform you that you have missed your science project deadline. How dare you, Dina? You were supposed to hand in the project two days ago. I have decided to extend your deadline to another day. If you are still unable to hand in your project, I will have to fail you. Kindly take note, Mrs. Lee. So the email informs Dina that Dina is in danger. Uh, Mrs. Lee is... What? Nak cakap apa? Mrs. Lee is? So the answer is number eight. A. She has already failed her science project. She can no longer hand in her science project. <laughs> Pity Dina. Her science project deadline has been extended to another day. Okay. So yes, the answer is C. So I bet you guys got 8 over 8. Anyone got 8 over 8 for these questions? Anyone? You can just direct message me if you are too shy. Okay, thank you, Danish, oh, to everyone. Okay, congratulations. Uh, that's a good one. Wow, congratulations. Zakwan, Erin, Danish. Oh, Nurfatin, congrats. I thought so. Nurin Huda, good one. Hmm. So, which question is the hardest one? Uh, yang mana yang paling susah nak faham? Just give me the questions, the number of the questions. Or you guys have any questions that you would like to propose? Always no need to be sad, Lanure. It's okay, we are learning. There's no fault in learning at all. So sometimes we need mistakes in our life. If we can't have any mistakes in our life, so how can we become a better person? We'll never learn. Uh, okay, no worries. You do good already. Okay. Oh, that's a good smile. Thank you, Zakwan. Okay, next. Now, after multiple choice questions, it will be error correction. So I bet you guys must really love error correction, kan? Because you only have to find the right words. Because sometimes the underlying words is incorrect, so you need to correct it. So let's take a look at the question for error correction. Click over there. Ta Suka sikit je eh, Tak apa Sikit-sikit lama-lama jadi Bukit tiba <laughs> Okay The surprise party Read the text below And correct the underlying errors For each question Write the correct word In the space provided Okay The surprise party Yesterday Is history Tomorrow Is mystery Oh sure Sure, Ryan Taki. But today is a gift. That's why it's called present diva, kan? I wonder that quote is actually from the movie uh, Kung Fu Panda. Have any one of you guys watched Kung Fu Panda? Kung Fu Panda. No, no one? Yes. Uh, this quote is actually from Master Ugwe. You know the turtle one that Move slowly, but quite good in fighting. The master Ugwe. No, Danish. Wow. I think you should watch it. It's one of the great movie. Okay, so let's read the question. The paragraph is, 
the surprise party. Party nak buat kejutan. Surprise. Anda kena prank. Yesterday, we celebrated my sister's 16th birthday. Hari lahir ke-16 kakak saya. Semalam. I call you, you tak answer. You kata you keluar pergi dinner. Okay. We decided to give her a surprise. I think you guys uh, already know or dah ada jawapan kat situ. Example two. Here, over here. Uh, here, two. To give her a surprise party, my family or I. So anyone can give me the answer. Yes, easy again. So my family and I. Sometimes if you are writing an essay, I and my family, it is incorrect. I and my family. So the correct one is my family and I, my friends and I. You started with my family, my friends, and then you say I. Sometimes we macam kita put others before ourselves. Keluarga saya dan saya. Saya dan keluarga saya. This sounds like arrogant. So we write properly. My family and I started preparing a month before the party. That's a long time. We catered the food ordered the cake and invited all 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 up why there why there yes thank you julia thank you erin delia nur fatin find something else uh. how do we suppose menunjuk kepada yes thank you darwishah dayana Huh. We, the main thing is we, the pronouns for we is, huh. what is the pronouns for we? I, my, we? <laughs> yes, the answer is our, thank you. Huh. Invited all our relatives as well as my sister's friend. Friends. So sometimes kalau kita nak buat essay, kita letak off. Invited all of our relatives. So, so dia macam terus pergi direct pun tak apa juga. Invited all our relatives as well as my sister's friends. On the day of the party, on the day of the party, my mother, mm -hmm, my sister out shopping. Yes, thank you, Erin. Okay, thank you, Darvisha Diana. Okay, Darvisha, you can give me what any kind of answer we discuss. No worries. Anyone else? Erin, Darvisha, Julia, Irina have already answered. At least one more. I'm waiting. Who's going to be our Angel for today, the savior. Uh, who is it? Who is it going to be? Might be Hasha. It might be Atilia Chong. Might be Ryan Takif. Might be Zakwan Yoko. Uh, anyone can be the hero for today. What else? The answer for eleven. On the day of the party, my mother. My sister out shopping. Okay, okay, don't be shy. Give me any answer pun boleh. Bring, Nurfatin. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Zakwan. Okay, Nurfatin. Uh, okay, I don't know whether you are informed about this, but sometimes if it's about this, what we call it, error correction, this one kan, error correction, Nurfatin. I need to tell you this because you are one of the brightest students. So you need to know this. For error correction, let's say for this one, the answer is almost the same. This must be two. Two. Let's say for them, it must be related to pronouns. And then if it's a verb, it, it rarely, rarely, I think, I think it don't have at all. I never met one. 
it gave us the wrong verbs. Meaning that you can't change the verbs to another verbs. But you can change the theme of the verbs. Let's say if it's thick. Okay. So the option for the underlying word is never bring. It will never be bring because bring is another verb. So the option it will be took, takes, taking the same the same roots. Uh, no, 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 Danish. Yesterday. Yesterday is history. So the answer is. So Fatin, Fatin, okay. Ah uh, yes, Fatin faham tak apa yang saya bagi tahu ni? Uh, do you understand? Yes. Uh, because why Fatin? Because I've met uh, some of my students who are quite good in English and they know certain words that is suitable in that context of sentences. Uh, ada perkataan yang sesuai nak letak. Tapi Kalau it is not in the format, it is not in the answer sheet, it will consider as incorrect even though it is grammatically correct. Uh, sebab apa? Sebab dia tak ikut flow. Let's say, kalau dia buat macam ni. Hmm. Apalah? Okay, eat. Let's say the, the term is Ali eat. So, what is the answer? For Ali eat. It is incorrect. Oh, Darwisha, that was fast. Huh? What is the answer for Ali eat? Uh, Ali eat. Okay, kalau past tense betul, Zakwan, it is Ali eat. Uh, Ali eat because Ali itu seorang je. Uh, yes, eat. Tapi kalau kita jawab, Ali consume. Ha. Betul tak? Masuk makan seorang je Ali seorang makan And then Ali Ali pun makan juga Tapi verb yang berbeza ha. So this is incorrect So that's why Apa yang kita buat Kita perlu refer kepada perkataan yang bergaris tu The underlying words We focus to the word ha. Regardless you guys are doing well Okay Eraser Eraser head. I hope you guys understand. Ingat ya, yang bergaris tu, the answer is within perkara yang bergaris tu. Okay, next. So, number 11, the answer is to, because it is yesterday related. Yesterday, 11 took. Okay, number 12. Out shopping, my sister did not suspect a thing while they were out. My father, brothers and I began cleaning and decorating. Uh, 12. Yes, thank you, Erin Delia. Yes. Anyone else? Erin, Julia. I'm still waiting for another kind of answer because I would like to discuss it. Okay, thank you, Erin. Thank you, Delia. Darwisha for number 12. The, okay, thank you, Darwisha. That was fast. Okay, so... If you guys encounter this word, uh, so let's say the underlying word is a uh, or an or the, uh, the option is only three of these things only. They tak akan jadi benda lain. Let's say kalau a house, decorating a house. Dia betul je kalau nak buat and decorating our house. Kan? Begin cleaning and decorating our house. It is correct. But the answer is the. Why? Uh, why the answer is the? Why it can't be 
our house because articles a uh, it can be whether a uh, and or the if you guys are going to use an it must be vocal a e i o u oh no 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 that is not the reason danish <laughs> That is more than that. Okay, okay, Danish. So explain to me. So, padam dulu. So every single time, Danish, you see this one number twelve. I would like to highlight this one. Ah, nampak ni. This one, a, a house. So kalau a yang bergaris ni adalah a, there's only two options. It's whether and or the so when do we use an bila kita nak guna an ni apabila huruf depan dia adalah a e i o u yes good danish i good good one ah uh, bila ada vocal a i o u and then after that kita guna the ah uh, selain itulah selain huruf vocal kat sini sebab tu jadi the andai kata Mm, the house Yang bergaris lah The house Apa option jawapan yang boleh jadi? Siapa boleh jawab? Anyone can answer What is the option for the answer? Yes, thank you Danish Wow It can never be end Okay, because there is no A, I, O, U So remember If you encounter A N or the The option is tiga tu sahaja. So you need to think how to use n, how to use the. Okay, kalau nak guna the, dia dah refer pada house. Nah, dia dah refer pada house. Ada tak kat sini? The house. Hmm. Couldn't find one. So number nine is number nine is n. Number 10 is our. Number 11 is took. Number 12 is the father later went and got the birthday cake. Before the caterers arrived, I told them where to put the food. 13. Okay, thank you, Erin Delia. Hmm. Okay, what's the point of you telling after the caterers arrive? I told them where to put the food. Mm. That's a good one, Julia, and that's a good one, Erin Delia. Anyone else? Different answer is acceptable, meaning that we can discuss. So we have two different answers over here. One got after, and then one got when. Okay, thank you. So the answer is when. Yes, when. When, apabila. Apabila the caterers arrive, I told them where to put the food. Uh, after the caterers arrive. After. Hmm. Make sense juga kalau jawab after kan? Sebab dia kalau related to time, it can be before, when, or after. So the answer here is when. Bila. When the caterers arrived. After the caterers arrived. Selepas. I told them where to put the food. In the meantime, our guests were arriving. Hmm. So this is the clue. Were arriving. So it can't be after sebab sedang tiba. So maksudnya bukan selepas kereta tu datang. Maksudnya bila. Bila kereta tu datang cepat-cepat cakap ah, letak makanan kat sini sebab tetamu tengah datang ramai ni. Betul tak? When? Bila sebaik saja kereta sampai terus cakap. Tapi kalau after selepas kereta tu datang dia datang tu selepas tu maklum. So dia tak 
dia tak relate dengan masa. Let's say kalau nak guna after, dia lebih sesuai kalau nak kemas barang. Uh, after the party, uh, after the caterers arrive, dia tak sesuai. When the caterers arrive. Uh, okay, so number 13 is when. Okay, and then 14. After all, I will guess 14. The answer is had. Thank you, Erin Delia. Had. Because past then. Had arrived. We told them to hide. Me, mother. Uh, 15. Also easy. What is the answer for? 15. Okay. Yes, thank you. My. My mother and sister would soon be coming back. As soon as my sister entered the door, we jump. We jump. Okay, thank you, Erin. Others, we jump. Oh, okay. Thank you, Julia, Erina. Are you guys a twin or, or what? Erin, Erina. Delia, Julia. Your your guys name to rhyme tau tak? Rhyme. Okay. Jump into. Jump out. Ah, now let's take a look at the words here. Off. Let's say Julia. Uh, ma, we jump into off our hiding places and shouted surprise. So is it compatible to put the word into off? Hmm. Is it compatible? Yes or no? This is preposition. Uh. Okay. Julia, are you there? <laughs> Ah, yes, thank you. So, the answer is jump out of. They call it off, they out. Out of context. Out of love. Huh. So, you got it correct, 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 correct. So, let's take a look at the next one. Topic three. Click. Oh, it's about information transfer. The easiest one, the easiest part to gain marks. Okay. This one. Okay, the Harry Potter series. The Harry Potter series. So any volunteers that would like to read this one? Any volunteers? Come on, don't be shy. You can read. No offense. Anyone? If there is no volunteers, I would like to read the passage for you guys. Oh, seems no one. Ah, semua shy. Eh? Budak form three memang pemalu eh. Sebaca lah, boy. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Thank you. Alright, I read it for you, Nurin Huda. Okay, the Harry Potter series. Have you heard of the book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? It is a fantasy novel written by British author. Okay, okay, thank you. J.K. Rowling, the book is the first novel in the Harry Potter series and it was Rowling's first novel. To this day, it is one of the most best-selling novels of all time. So for second paragraph, I would like to ask Nurin Huda to read the second paragraph. Okay, come on, Nurin. Okay, come on, Nurin Huda. You can do this only one paragraph. The third paragraph, we choose someone else. Hey, what do? It's okay, just read it. That uh. one, Harry Potter and the... Ah, uh, yes. Harry Potter and the 
Filo apa? Filosofis. Filosofis. Falsafah maksud dia. Filosofis. Oh, Stone was published in the United Kingdom on 26 Jun. Si asal so si kenapa ni aku kenapa aku tak tahu baca. 1997 pun tak apa <laughs> tapi sebut 1997. 1997. So cukup lah kat kelas saya dah malu kat sini saya tak mau malu. It's okay. It was published. It was published. It was published by Blooms Bloomsbury. Yes. Then on 1 September 1998, the book was published in the United States by Psycholistic Asal kecil sangat se. Scholastic Corporation. Corporation under the title Harry Potter and the Sor- Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Nurin Huda. Wow. Amazing. So See, you can lah. read it. You can read it quite good, you know? If I were to give you a rating, I give you 9 over 10 for your effort. So thank you, Nurin Huda. Okay, next we choose boy. Danish, third paragraph. Danish, why is the book so popular? You start from here. <laughs> Cekadaknya hang. Okay, Zakwan Yoko, how about you? The third paragraph. All you have to do is read. Ha, read je. Okay, Zakwan Yoko, third paragraph. Hmm, Hasha. Hasha, third paragraph, Hasha. Why is the book so popular? Okay, thank you, Hasha. <laughs> third paragraph kan, sir? Uh, third paragraph, yes. Saya tak berapa nampak sebab dia kecil sangat. Eh, serius tak nampak eh? Uh, 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 kecil. Agak kecil. <coughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Belum dia aku buat ni. Okay, this one. Ah, okay. Why is the book so popular? Yes. What is it about? Well, it's a story. It tells the story of a boy named Harry Potter who lie, who live with his aunt family in Surrey, London. Okay. On his 11th birthday, he received a letter of accept acceptance to the school called Howard School of Witchcraft and Wizard Dry. Harry, yeah. Harry then realized that he is actually a wizard. Yes. When he goes to the school, a new magical world opens up to him. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Hasha. That's a good one. That's a great one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, yes, jadilah macam Hasha berani. Boys, apa boys? Mic rosak lah. Hmm. Boys, boys. So, kita buat laju-laju ya. Eh? Uh, Harry is from Surrey, London. Uh, Surrey, London. Harry is from Surrey, London. From. So, we find where is from. This one. Hey. Uh. From Surrey, London. Okay, Harry studied at at ah uh, nipu simple Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Ah, uh, one, two, three. You no know more than three words. So the answer should be hmm. Ah, nama sekolah tu kira satu je lah satu words je lah ni. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Harry's character is a Obviously a wizard lah. Tak akan jadi apa? Makcik Gantin pula. Wizard. Uh, character. And then, Harry's best friend is uh, Ron Weasley. And Hermione Granger. Harry's enemy is 
Voldemort. Ada tak Voldemort kat sini? Ada tak Voldemort? Lord Voldemort. Couldn't find it. Hmm, here. Lord Voldemort. Okay, thank you. Darisha, best friend, and me, Harry's age in the series is... Hmm... What is his age? Ah, uh, here, 11 to 17 years old. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Total number of books in the series is seven. All the seven books. Okay. So, I think that's all for today, class. Thank you. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy Ramadan and happy Shawwal. So, minta maaf lah kalau ada salah silap selama ini. Bye-bye. Prepare for your examination, okay? Okay, bye. Great day. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Irfan. Bye. Bye-bye. You're welcome.